Hey y'all, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This one is from both the online outlet sale and some retail side sales. Um, so I had a sale 30% off plus coupon. So that's always a good deal. And that's about 50% off if you can really do the Vera math and split up your orders. But enough about that. So the first item I got is the Midtown Slim Card Case. This is just in black, so it's black and gray. And um, it's really nice little piece. I have just one of these. It's a leather one. And I haven't even used it yet, but I thought with some of the, like the lug bags or some of the small Vera bags, mini hipster and some of those other things where you want to take some cards, but not really take a full big wallet, especially in current time. So I just thought something like this would be a way to keep them together and yeah, protect it. It's not RFID but a lot of the bags that I would put it in are, or just gives you more card slots in a wallet, one of your big wallets, a lot of different things. But I don't think I need more than two, so I think this is it. And it feels like this middle piece is leather, but I don't think it is, but it's got a nice smooth feel to it. And the rest is just midtown. So there's that. The next thing I got is these storage bags, and I got one, to three sets of them and this is Daisy Paisley and let's see what the actual name of this is somewhere there's a tag <laughs> yeah okay it is <laughs> storage bag duo in like I said Daisy Paisley uh, oh this says made in Cambodia you don't see that very often but there they are so I got three sets of two so I got six total well, I think this will just help me with storing Vera blankets and towels and, and things like that. Or small pieces that I want to keep the dust off of um, or moving things around. But everything is well stocked in the closet and the bedroom. I just want to, you know, protect things, especially like the blankets that you're not using all the time. But these are great bags. It's a lighten up material on the outside, but it's a very robust and sort of vinylized inside. It's not patterned, but like I said, they're, they're nice and robust. They are a pretty good size. I mean, so you look at the capacity of these, that's the thickness of it or the height of it laying down. And then here's the look of the width and length, if you will. So it's pretty good size, um, roughly the size of an old, you know, big suitcase. But it just zips. It is a single zipper all the way around, and it does have a handle on the front. So if you have a high standing bed, this might work as an underbed storage bag. Totally not for me in this case, but I have these high shelves and so I fill with blankets and then stack them up on the upper shelves. Um, so that'll work for me. But I got, like I said, six of them. So I opened up one to show them and then I have one more set and one more set. Okay. The next item is something new and different, and I don't even know why it was on the online outlet sale, but I was super excited and I grabbed it, scooped it right up. This is the Compact Organizer in Majestic Magenta. Um, this is not something that has been released on the retail side or that, it has not, I've never seen it anywhere, it just showed up. And then it disappeared before the sale was over and it didn't sell out, so maybe it was a mistake. I don't know, not judging, just happy. So it is a velvet. It is super soft, just like the other velvets. I think this would go really good with the blackberry wine or, or the mulberry and those kinds of things. It, it kind of, it definitely takes on a different look in different lights. Sometimes it looks a little pinker. Um, yeah, but it's, it's a really pretty color. And it's a breast cancer piece. So there's your pink tag. And speaking of the Breast Cancer Foundation, it says, pretty with a purpose, show your support by carrying this special Fair Bradley Breast Cancer Awareness item. The foundation has donated over 35 million to support critical advancements in breast cancer research. So, really cool thing. Anyway, has a zipper ribbon pull, and it has got the name on there, Fair Bradley printed on it. Nice smooth zipper, and inside is this pretty pink paisley pattern. It sort of looks like a pink recoloration of mint flowers at a first glance. That's what like my head goes. It's, it's paisleys and florals and, and nicely spaced and whatnot. It is going to be, I think, an upcoming breast cancer pattern because if you donated to the foundation recently, you could get the Vera Bradley face mask, the pleated style with the over-the-ear elastics, 
$20 donation and you can get one of those masks. And those did sell out, of course, too, so I missed it. They came back in stock and I have not gone back yet, so we'll see. I probably missed it already, but anyway. Th so this is the first time we've seen this pattern is those two objects and we'll see what happens coming up. But this little organizer, it's kind of like um, that one that came out in the bears and it had that extra external thing. This is way better to me, much more functional. But the back part is just one big compartment and the front zips all the way around and it opens all the way up. It's sort of like a lay flat, but it has two mesh pockets on this side, the seam down the middle. And you have a zipper mesh on the other side to put more stuff in. And none of it's plastic lined or anything. And that's great though. For me, I don't need it to be because it's generally gonna be an organizer in my purses and whatnot. So super fun that it showed up and we were able to grab it and it was a good price. So sorry if you missed it, but that was a fun one. All right, that's it. That's all I got from the online outlet sale actually it was just those items. But the retail side stuff, I got some new release items. And this is not a first time item, but it is first time in this pattern. This is the Cozy Life Slippers in Bon Bon Ditsy, large. So it's kind of a gray, it's like a purpley gray color, which I'm okay with. I mean, it's sort of dark, if you will, but the bottoms have the no slip grips on them, the little dots, and it just has this nice embroidered floral thing. I just love these, they are great really year round, but certainly in the winter. And if you ever have to go in the hospital or you're like you're camping in the trailer and you're just inside bopping around, these are great. I have a drawer full of that kind of slippers. Um, then I got two pens. These are the ballpoint pens, the, the recent style of them. And I've got the Regal Rosette, and I know you can't see it that great, but it is a really pretty purple pattern. So of course I like it and it's silver fittings. Um, there you go. So it's a click pen, not a twist pen like the older ones were. And then I've got the foxwood one, and it does have critters on it. I don't know if they're all the same exact print, but there's definitely a bunny. And I don't see any other critters, so maybe it's just a bunny. Funny thing, but anyway, you got the pretty foxwood colors, so there you go. Got those. And then, okay, story time. I wanted. Well, you know, a couple of hauls ago, I had the readers and I had gotten a couple of cases, but I'd gotten the Holland Garden readers. So I wanted the Holland Garden readers case, but it had been sold out online for, for quite a while. But if you don't know already, if something's showing sold out online, that does not mean you have completely missed it because of a lot of different reasons, but mostly because you can call a store, call a retail store, any retail store, and they can check their local inventory. They might have that item in store, even though it's showing sold out online. Um, so you may be able to get it. And I've had really about, I would say 98% success rate getting things that I thought I'd miss. Um, and if that store doesn't have it locally, they can check the store inventories in the system, in the computer, and they can get it shipped from wherever they have it. So if you thought you missed out, that's your second chance, if you will. And your last chance is sometimes you thought it was gone from everywhere and then it shows up at the online outlet sale or at the annual sale. <laughs> yeah, they do purposely hold some things back for the annual sale, but other than that, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of magic, but it works. And anyway, so that's the story. I ordered the reader's case in both the Holland Garden and Garden Grove. And unfortunately, I accidentally was um, sent the sunglasses case and actually it turns out that's what I was charged for and I didn't catch it on the phone order when I looked at the receipts I just looked at case case yeah but it should have been readers and not the big ones so I called them and I was all set to just keep these and then order the readers ones anyway um, but great customer service they right away said nope it's our mistake we'll just keep those we'll just send you the new ones that it should have been I was like wow okay That'll keep me coming back for sure. Um, it, because I was just gonna eat it because I needed sunglass cases anyways. But So that is a real good feel good story, I think. And so now I have two extra cases, but I have plenty of sunglasses. So that is not a problem. And the best news is I was able to get the Holland Garden Reader's Case um, via exactly what I was just talking about. They didn't have it, it was sold out online and they were able to track it down. 
Um, and then I didn't get another Garden Grove. Instead, I changed that one to a Regal Rosette since the readers were actually purple anyway, so I went that way. Anyway, okay, fun stuff. So the new collaboration with New Hope Girls is the 1982 backpacks. Well, of course, I love purples and teals and florals and dark backgrounds. And so this backpack just screamed at me as soon as I saw it. One, I'm a sucker for a good cause. Two, I just love the colors. Three, I like to try new things. And this is definitely a completely different fabrication and um, formulation. It's a different format than anything that we have. So let's look at it. First of all, the material. It is, um, I think it's, it's not canvas. It's, I don't know, it's cotton, but it's, it's just cotton. It's different. I don't know how to explain it. It seems silly. I feel like at a loss for words. Um, but it's nice. It's a very lightweight, unstructured, for the most part, backpack. It's pretty simple. It just has this one big pocket on the front. There's no quilting, no padding. It does have a lining, just like a nylon lining with the Vera Bradley diamonds. I don't know if you can see those just kind of in the fabric. But it is, it's just the lining, but this pocket has a little depth to it, which is nice, very usable, very multifunctional pocket. Nice smooth zipper with a plain black ribbon pull. And then it does have this patch on the front for the collaboration marker, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a cheap patch, but I don't, it's fine. It doesn't bother me either way. It has slip pockets on the side. Now, I will say, these are a little small. Here's the thing. Okay, so this is a Vera Bradley water bottle, which is actually Dream Tapestry, but look how well it matches. I'm really excited about these little things. Um, but it does fit in there, but it is a tight fit, so you kind of have to, like, no kidding, work it in there. Wait, I had this in there the other day. Here we go. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's very not practical at all. And, well, anyways, you can see, that was, clearly that's not, that's not going to work. Um, I think a regular like plastic water bottle that's maybe just a little bit narrower around might work. And then here's the outlet version of a water bottle. This one's Fan Flowers. I didn't buy these water bottles this time. Oh, I just realized that matches too. Sort of, kind of. Anyway, <laughs> but the same problem. Anyway, the point is the slip pockets on the side, the cargo pockets are not a great fit for, at least not for the Vera water bottles. Um, so there you go. Um, the back, the straps are, I mean, they are padded. They're very simple. They do seem pretty secure on there. And then they have a nice canvas woven um, strap that's adjustable with plastic fittings, pretty standard. Um, the top has two handles. It's kind of like the zipper runs between them, but you can hold it from the top for sure. Two zippers, ribbon pull, and again, very simple. So the back is padded. You could use this big slip in the back, which is also padded. That's kind of like your tech area, I think. Um, and then in the front side, on the front, you have two mesh pockets. They go about halfway down. So um, my, my iPad is being filmed with, but I have the case off of it. So I figured just for sizing, that's the iPad Pro 12.9. And so just for fit, let's see, easily and nicely fits in that back section with plenty of space. So that's cool. All right, and nothing else inside. Like I said, very simple bag, but super pretty. I, I mean, look at those colors, very pretty. Yeah, I like it, I like it a lot. All right, next item I got is the notebook with pocket in French paisley. You know, it's purple and it's paisley. <laughs> and it's pretty, it has teals and a lot of different colors. There is more coming in French Paisley, I think. It's coming on the June 4th release. I don't know for a fact like what all is coming. The preview is not up yet online, but should be any day now, because I mean, June 4th is right around the corner. So coming soon, more French Paisley, but I just, I like it. I think it's really pretty. And of course I like my notebooks, so, so I got it. All right, next item. I got the work tote in Garden Dream. I have been wanting this, same story. It was sold out online for like forever. But once the stores open, it's right away the first day they were open, I called the Houston store and said, you know, do you have it? And they did, so, so happy. Okay, um, then they showed up on the online outlets. So <laughs> after I'd gone through all that, I'm like, I'm glad I didn't pay a lot for it, I'd have been pissed. Because literally days later, anyway. 
I hate when that happens. So, but this is Performance Twill. It retails for $145. Obviously, I didn't pay that. It was 30% off plus 20 off 75 coupon. So. All right. But nice two handles, and they have the middle fitting, so they just, they do, they lay flat, which is great. It has pocket on the front, big zipper all the way across. Inside this pocket, it has no organization. And I thought this was kind of strange, honestly. I'm kind of annoyed by it. I, I, just because this pocket only goes down to about right there. So why does it not go to the bottom? Like, well, why stop short? I would just make that go all the way to the bottom. It does go all the way across where the seams are. But I would just make that pocket go to the bottom. I don't know why they gypped it. That's just my opinion. But And then there's a slip pocket right behind it. And no magnetic on there, surprisingly. But nice, just a big open pocket right there. And then on the back side, you have... Now, a uh, little story here. It is a trolley sleeve right here but it has the zipper, so it zips, and now you have a big slip on the back. But I have to say, when I first got the bag, I was just checking out pockets, and I put my hand in here, and the zipper was just a little bit open, so my one finger went right through the bottom, whereas the rest was solid on the bottom, and I'd momentarily forgotten there was a trolley sleeve there with the zipper, um, because it's not a common thing on a tote, really, um, of this size, so anyway. I put it through and I go, oh crap, I got a defective bag, there's a hole. But right away that I felt, I was like, wait, that feels like a zipper. And yeah, solved my own problem. So that was silliness on my part. But the only reason um, I can think of that the other pocket doesn't go to the bottom is because the trolley sleeve stops at that same level. But I don't know why that means that this one has to stop at that level as well. So I think that doesn't matter. This should be able to go to the bottom even when this one doesn't. And why couldn't this one? It doesn't matter. Anyway, no biggie, but I like the bag a lot. Okay, on the top, it has a nice hidden pocket and it's on the front side, the side with the zipper pocket, but there's a hidden pocket right here for your cell phone, which is really nice. And my phone's charging right now, sorry, but anyway, it fits nicely. Inside, let's go front to back. So inside here, you have a nice zipper closure on the top you have two big slip pockets on this side, which is nice. And that's it for right there. On the other side, in your middle divider piece, you have two more slip pockets. Actually, sorry. You have two slip pockets, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. You have big one, smaller one, and then you have two pen slots on the side right here, right there on that middle divider. And that middle divider has a little strap and it is padded at that section right there. So right in the middle, you have that split divider where you put your laptop. Now I have a big laptop and I put it in there. It does fit, but I have to really pull this thing really tight over the top and it barely reaches the Velcro. It does reach, but it's a really tight fit vertically. So this needs to be just a little bit taller and or this needs to be just a little bit longer. It's still well within the bag, so I'm not sure why it's quite so short, because I heard of other people having problems with that too, and some of their other laptops, it doesn't go over at all, so. Anyway, okay, so that's that side, and then continuing on, there's nothing on the back side of the divider at all, and the back of the bag has one big privacy pocket, and it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag, which is nice. So a lot of organization and functionality without being overly compartmentalized. I mean, it gives you a lot of workable space. And the bag itself has a really, really solid wide base on it. So very high capacity tote without being super heavy and gigantic. So really lovely. I, I, it makes me want to be working. Of course, I want to be working anyways. That's a whole other story. But I'm retired. But this is, I think, a great for commuters. Great for people just working anywhere. I think it's great for a, a nice big purse if you're a big purse person or, yeah, school, whatever. I'm going to use the heck out of it. And I do hope to go back to school so it'll come in handy. Speaking of school, you need backpacks. <laughs> Not an intentional transition, but here we are. So I got one more item, and it is the Extra Large Reactive Brand Backpack, or the Reactive Extra Large Backpack. And... 
This one is a new style, brand new. It is um, sort of like a cross between the reactive brand and the reactive journey is kind of where it fits. We'll talk about dimensions real quick. Um, let's talk about reactive brand because there were two styles of reactive brands. If you remember, I did have a haul video with both of them. The one that had this style, and then there was one that had just the straight zipper style. Um, so let's talk about them just for a moment. Size wise, the reactive brand to the reactive extra large. Let's just talk like configurations with that upper zipper. This bag is the same size in two out of three dimensions. So it's 12.75 by 18 by nine inches deep. So it's deeper this way, like laying on its back. The other one is 12.75, 18, seven and a half. So it's just an inch and a half deeper, but otherwise pretty close to the same size, but different layout. And the other reactive brand style is two inches shorter and half an inch deeper. So they're all just kind of slightly different from each other. And the journey, I have the whole big comparison, but we'll do another video after this where we'll look at the backpack side by side and talk more about the similarities and differences on that. But let's look at this backpack. This is in Heather Indigo or Heather Navy. What do we call this? Blue Heather, dark blue Heather. I'm just making up names now. <laughs> It's dark blue heather, uh, but it is a really pretty pattern. It is a reactive, so it's water repellent, has a big rubber tag on the bottom, has one pocket on the front, but otherwise it's a very slick front. So this pocket is the big regular zipper, nylon zipper, and has this pretty pattern inside. And this pocket goes to about right here. So roughly halfway down the front of the bag. Um, and I'm not sure why only just the upper part but right behind it there's a pocket chunky zipper and look at this pretty blue floral interior so this is where your front pocket organization stuff is pretty good size pocket with some depth to it um, you can't see it really but it's about an inch deep in here it's like this big bottom but it's that front part and speaking of look at the bottom it's like a trapezoid shape so the bag narrows from back to front. It gets skinnier. And also, same as, you know, a little bit, a little bit true of the bottom to the top this way, not quite as distinctly. But, okay, so back to this pocket. In here you have one big slip, and it doesn't go to the bottom, but it goes two thirds of the way down. You have big slip in front of it and a clear ID window in front of that. So big, little, or little. And then you have three pen slots right there. And then you just have the pocket itself. So nice, spacious. You have a plastic um, hook for keys or whatever else you want to put, a zip ID or other things right there. And, and the plastic, it's fine for a reactive backpack. I think it's okay. Um, Going to the next pocket is also chunky zipper. It's a double zip though. And this one has more organization. So on the back, you don't have anything. It's just a straight, straight back with a nylon interior. On the front, you have a big mesh zip pocket that goes about two thirds of the way down. So it's a pretty sizable pocket on that front pouch. This pocket depth wise is significant so that's where my fingers are inside right there so from the back so the main compartment is this compartment depth wise but again you can see that it shaped pocket nice big compartment though all right next pocket here so there's three main compartments if you will <laughs> you're looking at the top you can see you got your Front, your middle and your back and then you have your tech on the back and then your little one on the front so five pockets front to back little small main 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 rear main <laughs> tech main <laughs> anyway so the back main the rear main 
main number two, whatever, is, again, big open pocket. This one, the depth isn't quite as deep. Well, it is pretty deep, though, still. So you got that back third of what's remaining is that pocket. And then it has two mesh pockets inside right here, and they do have elastic on the top, which is nice. That back side is padded because the tech compartment is right behind it. And this one is the top access right here. So the zip comes around the top. All right, and let's talk zippers. Okay, because this is a recurring problem with this bag. I've already had it <laughs> happen. So you've got small zipper on the front, the regular nylon zipper, totally fine. And I would be fine if it was chunky too. This backpack is no problem. You got three chunky zippers. These zippers are very smooth. And on a reactive bag like this, totally fine with it. It's not a sophisticated purse or something. I think it's fine. And they've been working really great. The smooth, fine. But this back tech zipper, it is one of the regular nylon type zippers, it looks like. But it's like the inside out installation, which sometimes is a style thing. It's totally in right now, I guess. But it's causing problems because it doesn't, it catches. I don't, I don't know. It's not major, but it's annoying. But it is just a nylon zipper, so it's not the chunky ones. I think it has problems just because this lip edge of this padding, the edging, I think that's what catches in that zipper is it's inside out, so it doesn't provide its own clearance. You know what I mean? Like, anyway. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying when I say, like, inside out. Because it just, it's not smooth. It catches on all of the this stuff, which I'm sure is gonna chew that up over time too. Um, it's just really kind of annoying. So you gotta like put your finger in and guide it around and that helps avoid some of the catching um, for what that's worth. But, but yeah, you kind of get a look. It's like inside out zipper. You know, I, I don't mind it either way, except functionally, if it's not working, then it, it needs to go the regular way. Maybe that'll fix it. All right, enough about the zipper. On the back, you have two nice straps. They are padded. They're fairly th thin, but they'll work. They have that mesh on there to help with cooling and airflow, which is great. It has a chest strap right in the middle, and these are adjustable. They also have the little loop. You can hook extra things on the front, but the way these adjust, they just slide up and down this little section right here, like that, and that's on both sides. And they don't just... So far, they haven't just like ridden up when you don't want them to, but it does get pretty good um, adjustability, and that's a big spectrum right there. So there's that, and then of course the bottom is adjustable as well. Nice big trolley sleeve on here. Again, it's padded, so the trolley sleeve is padded and then the back of the bag is padded. And the one thing I'll say though, these are, why put such a narrow trolley sleeve? It goes from where my hand is to where my hand is. You have almost two inches left on either side. Why is this limited to this skinny thing? Because that might fit on a, a handle, but it's gonna be tight and it's gonna be annoying to get on and off. So thankfully for me, that's not the primary purpose that I plan to use this backpack, although who knows. Um, but that would just really annoy me because I hate it when you can get it on there, but then you fight with it to get it off. So that's how I rip my bags is fighting with them. Um, anyways. But it does have a nice top carry handle as well, and it is a little bit padded, and it also has that mesh under. So, so that's the Reactive Extra Large Backpack. This is a brand new item, and I'm really loving this dark blue heather color with the interior. Super pretty. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this over here because in the next video, I'm going to compare that backpack compared to the Extra Large Campus Backpack which is cotton, but still um, for size and functionality. We'll compare it also to the Reactive Grand Backpack in black, but it won't be the one with that other zipper because I sent that one back. But you'll still, you'll still understand the similarities. And then we'll also compare it to the Lighten Up Journey Backpack just to kind of show that spectrum as well. So that's it for this one. Hope everybody's doing well. Before I go, I do want to share one other thing in case anyone is looking for storage options, um, whether it be for Vera or Lug or whatever else you're storing, blankets, clothes, seasonal things. Um, I found these ones on Amazon 
and they're super cool. They, they come flat and you just, the frame pops into place and you have these nice framed bags. You can see the metal frame in there. They are from Perrier, 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 whatever. You can see it, P-E-R-I-E-A. Uh, but they're from Amazon and a set of four costs like $90 plus or minus, but they're nice material and they have the clear view window and the side windows and they have multiple access. So two zippers and they go, this whole front thing opens or you also have top access, nice wide opening there as well. And you can see the frame, which is slides right in. Very lightweight when you know it's not full stuff. And it has two handles on the side. So it is going to be a lovely storage asset for me for some of this stuff. And that's the, the small size or the medium, if you will. And here's the large one. So definitely, oops, <laughs> empty water bottles. So definitely larger capacity there, but um, the clear view isn't all the way through. It's just one end and the front. So I, like, I was trying to look through, but you know, you're not gonna see me through there because it's not, but all of them have that same two access, the whole top and the whole front. So super fun. All right, hope you're doing well. Don't forget to wash and washy. See you again soon. Bye for now.